We're talking about an exploding market, graphite. It's an allotrope, a form of carbon. It's being used in all kinds of new technology applications. Prices have risen significantly. Matthew Gowing is equity analyst for strategic metals and clean tech at Mackey Research. It's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me, Andrew. I mean, you, you see some incredible videos, for example, on the internet. Mm -hmm. Graphene, the new ultra-thin form of graphite. It, it, it could lead to computers that are 100 times faster. Absolutely. Use in building materials as well. Uh, can be uh, integrated into solar panels. It's a very, uh, graphite and particularly the graphene is an excellent conductor of electricity. Um, so use in microprocessors for computers, increasing the speed significantly as you say, and then use in the uh, building materials. It's a, it, it, it can be designed to be a very strong material. Would you actually use it in construction, graphite? Oh, ab absolutely. There, there's uh, engineering companies working on uh, designing building materials using graphene today. So wow. there's, there's a lot of applications there that you know, could emerge as an important market. Now, a huge source of global demand for graphite right now is the oil, uh, the, the steel industry. I'm sorry, right, it's right. used in in furnaces. It's it's used as a refractory material in furnaces. Uh, that comprises about 40 percent of demand currently. Um, you know, and that's a that's a growing market. That's growing at about uh, five percent, particularly with uh, a lot of that consumption coming from China, which is growing well in excess of world GDP average growth and uh, so that, that's, a, that's a solid market for graphite as well. Now you reckon though that the, the big source of demand will be lithium ion batteries. They should almost be called graphite batteries because they use so much of this stuff? That's, that's very true. There's, there's actually uh, more than 10 times the amount of um, graphite contained in this lithium ion batteries as, as, there, as there is lithium in those batteries. Um, and you know the lithium ion battery industry is growing 25 to 30 percent a year currently. So, you know, we have a lot of lithium companies out there exploring and developing new lithium deposits because there's, there's considerable growth there, but really not enough uh, graphite uh, companies out there with, with advanced stage deposits. We're having a look there. This is a chart you produced um, uh, last year. And so the blue there is the number of, elect of electric and hybrid cars in the world. And there's the, the potential growth in um, lithium demand if the penetration is, is bigger or smaller. I mean, there's going to be a lot more batteries needed. Absolutely. The electric, electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, is going to be a very important driver. But what we're telling clients is that's not the only uh, key driver for the, both the lithium and the graphite market going forward. It's going to be things like um, two-wheeled electric vehicles, the e-bike, the e-scooters. Mm -hmm. uh, there's actually a considerable market for that in China. Uh, from what we understand, there's more than 140 million e-bikes on the road in China currently. And an increasing uh, percentage of those are more and more they're using lithium-ion as the battery source. Moving and away from the yeah, and, th and that's going to be a very important driver. Lithium-ion is a battery technology displacing some of the older conventional uh, mature, less efficient technologies going forward. And then it's almost like a rare earth story, China dominates supply. Absolutely. The, the uh, supply side for, uh, story for graphite is very exciting as well. Uh, China has more than 70 percent of the world's production of graphite. Um, uh, from what we understand, the resources are depleting there. They're having to mine deeper out of the mines. That's increasing operating costs, increasing the, the marginal costs, and then the price of graphite. Uh, they're consolidating the industry, so that's taking some supply out. They're implementing various environmental standards. Just like rare earths. Just as they are in rare earths. There's an um, export duty system in place. There's a value-added tax system in place. Um, and what they're really trying to do is, is to make sure their own domestic industries uh, you know, have, have the access that they need. Need for, for graphite. So that really increases the need for, for other graphite projects to emerge uh, from other parts of the world. We have one mine in Quebec right now. We do. Operating. operating. Uh, it's owned by a company called uh, Timcal and its, its parent is a, is a Swiss-based Swiss company. Uh, and then we, we have some other projects in, in Canada. Canada is going to be a source, a very important source of new pro, uh, graphite projects coming online. So we're going to, right after the break, we're going to sure. be talking uh, to the CEO of one of the companies you cover, uh, Northern Graphite. And, uh, of course, they're planning to open a mine uh, near Algonquin. And, uh, yes. Y so you're going to take part in the interview. I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. Let's take a break. Matthew Going, equity analyst at Mackey Research, is going to stick with us. And we are going to be talking to the boss of Northern Graphite. They want to build a graphite mine near Algonquin Park.